what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're gonna be talking about screen 5 again yesterday or today paramount pictures debuted the screen 5 trailer at the center europe during their presentation out in spain yesterday barcelona and this excerpt is coming to us from deadline it says those they show like other movies and footage from their other slate of movies they have coming out but it says those included family picks rumble and clifford the big red dog and an extended look at sonic the hedgehog 2 also turning up was the worldwide debut of the trailer for next year's continuation of horror franchise screen so they debuted that trailer yesterday or today again out in barcelona spain this is coming to us from deadline i'll leave a link to this article down in the description for you guys to check it out if you want to we don't know yet when exactly this will be debuting online but and when i say we don't know yet i mean we haven't had an official announcement saying hey you know this is when the trailer will drop but we do have a little bit of a understanding as far as like the little tidbits that are coming out from the official scream account and on facebook twitter just the things that they've been posting and more specifically on twitter how they've been replying to some people uh they sent out a tweet yesterday which had everyone speculating on what it could mean some thought it meant less than seven hours until we got the trailer but the more common assumption is that these seven red droplets here from the official screen page on twitter is indicating that the trailer will arrive in less than seven days so we have seven days now less than seven days until the trailer arrives on october 12th i think that will put us at on october 12th because it's tweeted yesterday so on next tuesday we are now anticipating to see the scream 5 trailer debuted worldwide online for all of us to enjoy and not just those who are in attendance at paramount's presentation at center europe or cinema europe where they were to previewing their upcoming slate of films and this is all very exciting times because i know we have so much horror content from old established ips like i know what you did last summer chucky halloween kills coming out next week so many different exciting things to be excited about as a horror fan if you're a fan of all those classic uh franchises also we now can i guess be more confident in the film playing alongside halloween kills which again we know is coming out in theaters next week also going to peacock on october 15th this will be a trailer that's arriving in time to play alongside that in theaters some people on twitter some person was claiming to be like a working at a theater chain and they did mention that their uh theater had received the trailer and it's being loaded up into i guess whatever they're going to display in the preview section for movies when they are showing previews for movies so the trailer exists we know that and when it's very close to happening and when i say very close to happening i mean very close to being released online we're so close to finally getting the taste of what we can see in this film my hopes is that we get a little look at them trying to recapture that suspenseful nature that i would say the original three films captured amazingly with scream 4 i've been having a lot of conversation with you guys about scream 4 i'm a fan of all of these movies i wouldn't say there's a single bad film that exists there's just some that of course are better than others but with scream 4 the tone of it was a little bit more off in the sense that the comedic aspects of scream 4 i felt like were made to stand out for some random reason give them give them them like a spotlight whereas with the original trilogy the comedy was present but it felt more woven within to the fabric of the dna there was not it didn't feel like there was an attempt to kind of say hey you know this is the this is the moment where you're supposed to laugh laugh at this stuff oh now come back to being scared i feel like it was a more consistent thing about just being terrified and keeping the suspense up throughout the entire film but we don't have that in screen four so i hope we get a feel of that in the trailer for screen five so also giving me more uh confidence in the fact that we could be seeing it at the fathom events this sunday and monday for those of us going out to see scream the original scream in theaters on sunday and monday for the fathom re-release scream responded to someone on twitter pleading with them to just release the trailer because that's all they want they were very excited about the trailer they said that they are saving it for a killer occasion the only killer occasion that we now are aware of that's coming up is this sunday and monday when we have the re-release of the original film where a limited amount of people will be able to go out to see this in theaters and hopefully you'll be among some of the select few people if you decide to go out and see scream in theaters again on sunday and monday you'll get to see your very first look at screen five before the trailer releases to everyone else later that week on tuesday now as far as like anyone i guess who won't be attending these fathom events if you're someone who wants to be able to watch the trailer without seeing any descriptions i think the best course of action you should take if this trailer is actually shown at these fathom events the best course of action you could take would be maybe 
disabling certain things on Twitter, Facebook, however you uh, want to operate social media. Because you're in control of what comes up on your feeds. You have control over filtering certain things. So I would filter those things if you don't want to see anything resembling what could be the trailer for Screen 5 or see any descriptions about anything related to Screen 5. Just filter them or I guess delete the apps, whatever you have to do to protect your experience. Take some accountability and protect your experience if you don't want things spoiled for you. Uh, but yeah, the trailer coming out soon in less than seven days has a lot of us excited. I know that I cannot wait to see what they have to bring to the table. Can't wait to see shots of Sidney Prescott, shots of Dewey Riley, shots of Gail Weathers. Get a little bit more of an understanding of what Sam and Tara Carpenter, what their narrative will be as it relates to the overall centerpiece. Since we have a good understanding that they are going to be the focus this time around and that Sidney Prescott, Gail Weathers and Dewey Riley will be will be here still relevant but taking a back seat as it relates to them being the focus it's going to be the carpenters Tara's group of friends and the woman returning to her hometown all of us are convinced that it's Sam and not Sydney Sydney of course will be returning to Woodsboro but they're talking about Sam in that description they're not referring to Sydney but because if they were referring to Sydney I know a lot of us said this in the past if they were referring to Sydney you could have just gone right out of the jump and said we're talking about you could have just named Sydney they were never referring to Sydney uh that's just my belief and I feel like if you were you would have just named Sydney Prescott because if Nev Campbell didn't want to return I believe that they would have had a plan uh in store just so that way they can do their scream five without Sydney Prescott being involved in it if Nev Campbell didn't want to return but luckily she will be back and we are in seemingly less than seven days now until we get to see our first look at this film. Again, I know a lot of us are excited. Those of you who are going out to see Scream on Sunday and Monday at the Fathom events, I know you're excited about that too. Hopefully, we will be getting to see the first look at the trailer for those of us going to those Fathom events this weekend uh, leading into Monday night. And have a lot to get excited about on Tuesday when it releases online for everyone else. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications to that never miss video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.